Hiya guys and welcome to my channel. It's Nikki Body and Nails here again. And today I'm doing a Valentine's nail with a unicorn design. So here I've made a design in my nails. I've got long nails, they're originally mine, and I didn't want to cut them off. So I'm using the form over the nail to secure the um, stiletto that I'm building to the free edge. So basically what I did, I drilled two small holes, well, one large side onto the, is this the right side? Yeah, the left side, sorry. And then on the right side, a smaller hole. So I'll be creating the stiletto to form a kind of diagonal um, heart. So it's gonna be to the side, if you know what I mean. So I've drilled a bigger hole here and I've made a smaller hole, but I've done it to the side. So when I've done the stiletto going down, you'll see the heart flowing down to the side. Please stay tuned. So what I'm doing here, I'm just lining the base of my nails with some gel. So this, I want to create the illusion of glitter going down on this nail. So I'm just adding gel to the base of my nail, making it into a little form. So I've just added the gel there. And what I'll do now is I'll sprinkle on some glitter because that's what I want to create that look. So I'm just going to throw some glitter on. I don't want to create that heart look going down to the side. I'm just tapping. Nice amount of glitter on here. And then I can maneuver with my brush and fix it the way I want it to be. See if I can focus. Anyway, I'll just do that and pack these in. And then I'll cure under my lamp. And I'll, I'll repeat this step again, making sure that it goes this way. Because I want it to be a certain way. <clears throat> I'm just cleaning up the edges and taking that design to the side of the nail. Sorry guys, I'm always out of frame in it. I'll get there. I'll get there one day. So it's just past the number two. It's just past the number two here. Doing now. So to create this look, see I have to be pinching every minute all these forms. I think they've sold me some old forms. I'm not happy at all. So I'm just going to clean up and just prepare my heart to the side and just take off any glitter that's on the top. So that's what it would look like if you can see it going to the side. And then I'll bring the other colors wrapping around there. You get the gist of it. So that's cure. I'll add a little bit more of the gel. So I'll just go in here and I'll just fill the gel in to where I want it. Make sure you do that flat and just fill the gel in. And make sure you're doing it on the pattern itself. Make sure it's in the corner. And then we'll have it on the side. 
wish this camera was able to focus properly but I'll get there so I do that and then I'll just sprinkle some more of the glitter onto that area to give it more depth because I want my heart to look as if it's excited so I'll just cut that excess off and just clean up inside of the well so I don't want too much glitter to be showing there Oops, I'm shaking too much coffee and then I clean up this side as well and as you can see See the heart starting to form so I'll just put this back in the UV lamp and let that cure and then I'll be right back right guys because I'm using gel I want this the glitter to show more instead of using the acrylic so I'm using acrylic and gel as we go along so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna fill in here with a little bit of glitter I mean sorry a little bit of gel to see if um that will bring the colors out and these are the colors i'll be using today guys this is a love letter and it's from glitter haven australia they are beautiful look at that just look at that guys oh my goodness knock something over look these are really really pretty and then this one's called barbie girl they are gorgeous so I'll be using the love letter today so I was thinking I could put some little random things in my heart to see if that makes it pop a bit more so let's try this and see how it works just bear with me guys let me get my little box of foil paper so I've got one out and I'm just gonna tap a little bit here oh wow look at these guys oh my goodness look at that that is beautiful that is really beautiful I'm just moving the light and look at that wow I'm excited now okay so I'll put these down here nicely and I think I'll take some of the the goldy looking colors I'm just put this down here that you can see okay the purpley ones I think I'll be using if I can get any up, oh, no I can't, so let me just get that in, let's see, how would it look? Mm, nah, I think I'm just going to leave it as that and put these around the frame of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to fill in here with the gel make sure I encapsulate my heart design properly I'm just using a oh my goodness you're not seeing anything what is going on so I'm just using my gel and my dotting tool in just fill in the creases here because I don't want it to spill all the way over. I'm making sure it's formed correctly. Didn't want to get too much on the brush, so just doing that to just fill in this area. Give it a bit of height and structure. Bit. 
You can always file this at the end, so don't worry about this, guys. I just want to make sure that my heart is in place. And as you can see, the structure is perfect. So what I'll do next is check this side. Just pop a little bit there. You can see just a little bit. Just check over guys and make sure it's leveled and perfect before you seal it. Because you don't want when you come to filing it, it's all over the place and like I am all over the place with my framing and you've lost your design so make sure you fill this nicely and you can always file off the bulk yeah okay so i'm gonna put this and cure this now guys i was filming the part that i filled in the white and um, my battery went and i lost everything so filming the second nail which I've mixed the pink customized color pink and I'm going to do that into a spring so it's going to be a deep cut spring um, I'm having a problem filming okay, so if you don't see the full footage of me doing this finger just bear with me I'm still learning as I go along and um, I will post another video up very soon if you're not seeing anything clearly So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to extend the free edge of my nail into the stiletto shape. So this is the pink that I've mixed myself. And I'll be doing using this one on this nail. So I have just gone ahead and I've applied some primer. Okay, it's gonna be hard for me guys, so please bear with me because I am finding it very difficult to do the video and the nails at the same time so I want to say hats off to all the nail techs out there that they're using YouTube because this is mightily difficult so I'm just getting a bead of acrylic and then I'm just gonna pop it on here make sure it sits where I want it. So quickly making it into the length. What if I go stronger? I it. What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my As I stated before, I'm having problems with my form. It it is not working with me at all not working with me at all little 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 don't know why but it doesn't seem to like me so I have to be closing it as I go along and I am when I say struggling I mean I am struggling please bear with me guys and I continue to Sorry guys, I had to do this finger off frame. I just could not do it while I was filming. It was so difficult. But um, I'm learning, so I'm gonna get it. I promise you, I will get it. On the pinky nail, guys, I wasn't able to video that um, part of it, so it was white acrylic, and I've um, extended the nail as well and covered that in white acrylic. 
Then I moved on to the thumb. I, I do the cut method in this part where you can see that I have cut two sides out in the shape of a heart. And I did do a video of me showing the, the tools, but unfortunately I can't find that video. So I'm just putting together what I can find. So here you see me patting the custom colored that I made for the this design. And I'm patting that in, filling in the gaps and extending that down to the tip of the form. Right guys. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to apply gel to the... So here we are guys, I decided to just fill the end down with the remaining of the glitter and just cover more on the side. So. I might not. So I'm going to leave that as it is. See that under the lamp. And I'm going to do something with this one and probably change this one to that color as well. Stay tuned. I really love this. It's a raw glitter. And it is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So I am not too liking this one with the, it's called Rustic Love. So I'm going to change that and put these on instead. So, so I've taken the color off this because I didn't like that color. And I'm going to apply a little amount of gel onto that nail. Just to seal my glitters in. Because I didn't like the way the other glitter looked and I like this pink so I'm going to just use this as my base to hold my beautiful ombre glitter okay, just making sure it's nice and even and thin as possible I'm getting my light color which is this pink and I've got some intruder in there you can see him right here and some hearts so I'm gonna just pour that this color over there like so put that color there and then I'm gonna get this color, which is a brighter pink. And I'm gonna over it and make sure. And then I'm gonna use my soft pink. I went ahead and designed the rest of the fingernails. I added a 3D rose which I made onto the middle finger and on the pinky finger I um, used gel to create the design of the unicorn shape and I flash cure those in between and then cure it at the end. Um, I decided to put a top coat over the rustic look, the raw glitter look because it catches so much on things and I do not like the feeling of it so I put gel over it. Hope you enjoyed my video, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon, bye!